game time for the untouchable true school sports. Let's go, baby. Bow. Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. All right, Brendan Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with one of the, the young guns of the featherweight. Well, you're a 130 pounder now, right? 130, yeah. So you're, fight, yeah you're a 130 pounder now, but uh, ni nice meeting you, man. Nice I've meeting you, been man. watching you a lot and learning about your career recently. Uh, people that don't know you, like, uh, talk, talk to them about your your, your, your career because you've been sparring in Japan with NOA, you're with Canelo. It's a lot of heavy hitters you're dealing with, so. Yeah, well, I started my career in Mexico. Um, I fought in many parts of Mexico, in Mexico City and Monterey, everywhere. And I, get, I got my first uh, youth world title that we see in Mexico. So, you know, I owe a lot to Mexico. I got a place in my heart for Mexico. And uh, now I'm with Eddie Reynoso, and I want to give big thanks to Eddie Reynoso for everything that he's doing for my career. Okay, and, and as far as Eddie Reynoso, because, you know, like, uh, he's an esteemed trainer. What, 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 what would you say is, like, the best thing about training with him? Like, what, what makes him a, a great trainer, Eddie Reynoso? Um, he always tells me to stay disciplined, stay, stay dedicated, and always keep working, you know, keep working that, uh, you know, that he, he told me that he would I'll be world champion in two years, you know, so yeah. he just teaches me a lot of things in and out of the ring, so, you know, I'm very grateful to be, you know, in the same circle as Eddie Reynoso. Yeah, correct, correct. Um, yeah, I've watched you fight a couple times. Uh, you're like a, you're crafty and equally explosive. Uh, uh, would you say that's fair? Like, yeah, 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 that's fair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, what, like, where does your style come from? Like, who influenced your style? Uh, well, I, I could box, you know, I could box, I could use my IQ, I could use my feet, but, you know, also I got, you know, power in my hands, so I could fight if I want to as well, yeah, so, yeah. you know, it's just learning things every day, you know, each day in the gym, staying dedicated, staying uh, true to my craft, and keep on uh, improving mentally and physically. And, and I see your amateur record too, like, you, you got some names on that people would know, like <laughs> yeah. uh, Abdullah Mason, who are, uh, a couple other guys too yeah. that you beat in the amateurs, who else, who else did you beat in the amateurs? Uh... I mean, what's on there is on there. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It, you know, them guys are doing their own their thing and their own path. You know, everybody got their own path and they're doing their thing, you know. Okay, okay. And um, one thing about, about you that I found interesting was uh, early in your career, you've already fought like a good, you fought Eduardo Baez, who's, who's been at a high level and you dropped him, so. Yeah, yeah no, nah, that was a good fight. That fight actually, like, I feel like that fight really, like, got me experience level, like, higher, you know. So I went 10 rounds with Baez, a former uh, title contender. And, uh, you know, I was able to drop him in the ninth round, but he was a tough guy as well. So, you know, it was a great fight, great experience, you know, and, and I'm grateful for that moment as well. Oh, for sure, for sure. And, and I know the one thing I know a lot of people know you about for what I mentioned earlier was the, the going to Japan. You were sparring in a way for the Neri camp. Yeah. Uh, I've been to his gyms and, I, and I've been to Japan, so I know a bit about, about, about culture really? and boxing. Yeah, yeah, I've been nice, to Japan. Um, what, what was the sparring like with him? Nah, it was a great experience. I did like over 50 rounds with him, the whole camp, and it was just, you know, nice back and forth fight. And he's two time undisputed for a reason, man. He's a really, really great fighter. And, um, you know, I'm really grateful that he was. Uh, he allowed me to be in the in the same camp as him, you know, okay. for that fight. So. For sure, for sure. What what makes him? What do you feel from being in there? What, what, what makes him so sharp and so difficult to deal with? I think it's. I, I believe it's his quickness, like his feet, like like you'll be far from him, and then they see you know he's like right there, you know, in your face. So you know, he got really good feet. On him. So he closed his range real fast, yeah, you say? Yeah, yeah. So I, that's what I'll say. And with you being a sapo, I'm sure he was throwing a lot of right hands your way. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, we were throwing everything at yeah. each other, so it was a great experience, man. Okay, okay, okay. And then um, as far as like, I, I know you also down in South Florida recently, you did that yeah. one, one, one of my friends I know, Luis Hernandez, what was that like? Oh yeah, that was that was great work, man. You know, he's having his pro day. Pro debut like, September 21st, yeah, yeah. man. So, you know, best of wishes, best of luck for him, you know what I'm saying? He do his thing out there. And uh, yeah, man, he's a good guy, man. For sure, for sure. And um, I, I know like, I'm looking at you, your, your frame, you look like you could be, a, you're, you're fighting at 30 now. Is this your permanent weight class? Or are you going back down to 26? Or? Uh, if it's for a belt, I can go down to 26, you know? Um, but you know, 30, I feel great. 26, I feel great as well, but um, you know, we'll see what uh, what the future holds. Because because 26 got some heat over there. They got some. You no, know, nah, everywhere they got heat. And they champion for a reason. You yeah, know? yeah. Champions are champion for a reason. So I hear you. No, what I'm saying is, well, from 26, it's like the guys that are champions from one through ten. It's a little deeper than oh, most yeah, weight classes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah. 26. There's a lot of guys that's you know coming in and out. So yeah, yeah. And you know, they're good too. So they they good they good guys in, in 2026. Okay. I was talking to your dad earlier. Um, what's 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 his impact been on you as a fighter? Like. My dad been with me from the beginning, from the start. Yeah. Uh, I get, you know, a lot of thanks to my dad. You know, my dad really helped me in everything, not just boxing, in life itself. So, you know, I give a lot of thanks to my dad. Okay. Thank you for watching another video on the Untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Boxing Hall of Fame out here in Canada, New York. And for more great boxing content, just like this video, 
make sure you click and subscribe right over here.